Introducing Visual SP, the SharePoint help system. Visual SP provides in-context, on-demand help and guidance to users when they need it. This in turn facilitates and increases SharePoint adoption within the organization. Users feel more in control and confident knowing what they are doing and why. With Visual SP, you can communicate the governance and guidelines to the users so they are following best practices when using SharePoint. Let's check out how it all comes together. Jack Smith has been notified that he's a new member of the Human Resources SharePoint site, and he's also responsible for managing site content. Jack does not have any experience with SharePoint. He doesn't know where to get started. He sees the directions on the home page instructing him to go to the Page tab and to the Page Help section to get started. Jack follows these directions to go to the Page tab and sees the Page Help section which has the video content that he would need to get started. The first thing he needs to learn how to do is to edit this home page. So he clicks on the Editing a Web Page video. The video starts playing fully narrated by a SharePoint expert. He can also maximize this video to see exactly what he needs to learn. He can forward it to get to the section that he's interested in. Once done, he can restore it, close it, and move on. The next thing that he's interested in is how to manage documents in this site. He sees there's already a couple of documents in the Shared Documents Library. He navigates to the Shared Documents Library. In here, he sees a Help tab. Within the Help tab, there are video content for visitors and for members. Now, Jack is a member, so he knows that these things are targeted to him. In addition, there's also Help Documents, talking about the governance plan for the whole company, the usage for the document library, there's a presentation, explaining document libraries, and also a reference card. Let's look into some of these. If he clicks on the governance plan, Word starts up and shows him the whole governance plan that's governing the company. The document library usage document shows him exactly how he should be treating the document library. In the document libraries explained, it's an actual presentation that was prepared for people to understand how and what do document libraries do. In addition, the reference card shows exactly the different sections of the library and how to use them. This is actually an image that's been made available to him and to all the other members on the site. Then there are the videos. This video says that you need to check out the document for editing. Well, what does that mean? He can click on it and watch the video to learn about the checkout process. Similarly, when he's done editing, there's also a checking in a document video. All this information is available to him at his fingertips, directly in context on demand. If there were additional videos or additional content that the administrator wanted to expose to the users, they can customize that as well. And all these help tools are specific to libraries. So if you were to go to Calendar, for example, and go to the Help tab here, there's content here that's specific to the calendars and event management. This video, for example, is specific to the Contoso Corporation and how they want the events, the calendar events, to be managed. So he watches this video to learn exactly what his administrators want him to know. Owners of SharePoint sites have additional set of videos that they can view to help them manage the site. Since Jack Smith is not an owner, he will not be able to go to the site settings which has those videos. So let's log in as a owner of the site. Sandy Jacobs is an owner of the site. She can go to site actions, site settings, and from there, she'll see a section for video-based training, which is specific to her needs. For example, how to create a subsite, styling your site, managing user alerts, 
and more. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of these. Styling your site shows exactly how you can brand your site with different colors, themes, fonts, etc. Just like the videos that appeared on the ribbon, these videos can also be customized by the server administrator. In this example, the server administrator has chosen to show these specific videos to the site owners. The same experience and functionality is available at all sites within all site collections in the farm. So if you navigate to a different site, you'll get the same experience. For example, in shared documents, going to the help tab is going to show you the same videos, the same help documents. Going to calendar, for example, will also show you the same content. The experience for the users is streamlined and consistent all the way throughout in all different sites and all different site collections. In addition to being able to customize which content to show on the help tab, the categories, for example, help documents, member videos, and visitor videos can also be customized. For example, in the tasks list, the help tab shows subject areas and the videos, images, and documents are grouped within these subject areas. These are just some of the examples on how a company can customize the Visual SP help system for their needs. To learn more about the Visual SP help system, please visit us at www.visualsp.com. We look forward to speaking with you. Thanks for watching.